Driving Test UK, the short notice driving test specialist. James is about to start his driving test at the Oxbridge Driving Test Centre. Prior to getting into the vehicle, the driving examiner has checked his photocard provisional driving licence and has conducted an eyesight test. James has been driving in the United States for the last 10 years. He's been driving in this country for the last three months on his international driving license. The driving examiner has instructed us to turn right at the roundabout. This is the only way the examiner can ask you to go as the left is a no through road. Many learner drivers, they fail at this particular junction. This is due to the yellow box junction. The yellow box junction must be kept clear at all times. If you are in the box and the lights change, you must proceed as you are over the white stop line. The driving examiner has asked James to turn right at the traffic lights. This is Cowley Mill Road. At the traffic lights, the examiner has instructed us to turn right.
Having turned right, the driving examiner has now instructed us to turn left. This is the green way. The driving examiner has now asked James to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. During the course of the driving test, the examiner will ask you to stop on the left at least three or four times for various reasons. We have just turned right into Cleveland Road. We are just passing Brunel University. Watch out for pedestrians. At the end of this road, we will turn right and then immediately left. This can be quite a tricky junction, especially as it's on a hill. If necessary, use the handbrake to prevent yourself from rolling back. The driving examiner has once again asked James to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. The driving examiner has now asked James to turn the vehicle around, facing the opposite direction using both forward and the reverse gears. This is commonly called a three-point turn, however it does not have to be done in three moves. The driving examiner has asked James to turn left out of Orchard Avenue.
we are now in Station Road. Once again, the driving examiner has asked James to stop on the left somewhere conveniently safe. This time, it's for the purpose of starting the independent driving section of the driving test. The driving examiner has instructed James that he would like him to turn left at the traffic lights and then follow the signs to Heathrow. James will be turning left at the traffic lights. This is the first part of the independent driving section. Having turned left, we are now following the signs marked Heathrow. During the independent driving section of the driving test, if you are not sure as to where you are going, or if you feel that you may have missed a sign, you can ask the examiner for confirmation. They will help you. Any time you see a road sign and with directions, check the mirrors and ease slightly off the gas. This will give you time to read the board.
Although there are two lanes here, bear in mind this is a 30 mile per hour road. We can see a direction board in the distance. Heathrow was marked left at the traffic lights. Remember, if you are not sure you can ask the examiner for confirmation. They will not fail you. This is Falling Lane. Bear in mind, if you come to a junction without road markings, you should imagine that road markings are there. At the roundabout, Heathrow is marked straight on. There was only one lane on approach to this roundabout, so the positioning is in the centre of your lane and centre of the lane throughout the roundabout. However, at the next roundabout you will notice there are more than one lane. James has chosen the middle lane to go straight on, so he must maintain that position throughout the roundabout. The driving examiner has now informed James that the independent driving section of the test has now ended and he has asked him to turn left at the next roundabout. 
You will notice the speed limit here is 50 miles per hour. But as you turn, watch the signs. The speed now becomes 30. James is assuming the speed is 50 and has increased his speed up to 40 miles per hour before being asked to slow down by the driving examiner. Many learner drivers fail on this popular road. This road is West Drayton Road. We will now be turning left at the traffic lights. This is a dual carriageway, however it is still 30 miles per hour. The name of this road is Harlington Road. The driving examiner has now instructed James to go straight on at the first roundabout and then turn immediately right at the second roundabout. The two roundabouts are fairly close to each other, so James has chosen to approach the first roundabout in the right-hand lane. You will notice that being in the right hand lane makes it much much easier to turn right at the second roundabout. We are currently driving on Lee Road. The driving examiner has now asked us to turn left at the traffic lights.
Be prepared to cancel your left signal for a few seconds just in case somebody is coming out of the petrol station. We are currently on the Oxbridge Road. This is a 40 mile per hour dual carriageway. Apart from going over the speed limit on West Drayton Road, James is driving exceptionally well. The driving examiner has now asked James to turn left at the traffic lights. Beware that you do not move into the bus lane until it's finished. You will notice the road is marked 20 miles per hour. Unfortunately, once again, James has gone over the speed limit. He was driving at 25 miles per hour before being asked by the driving examiner to slow down. We have just turned right into White Hall.
The driving examiner has now asked James to take the next road on the left. This is Watford Road. At the end of this road, the driving examiner has asked James to turn left. We are currently driving in Cowley Road. At these traffic lights we will be turning right. Be aware that only enter the yellow box junction if you can see that your exit is clear. It's okay to enter the box and wait in the box if you are prevented from turning right by oncoming vehicles. The lights are green. James is not going into the box when he should be. He was lucky there was no traffic behind him. The examiner has chosen to give him a minor mistake on this particular occasion. If he was holding up traffic, that would easily have been a serious mistake. At the traffic lights, we'll be turning left, back towards the driving test centre. James has unfortunately failed his driving test. He has made two serious mistakes, both of them speeding. So that you do not make the same mistake as James, practice watching road signs and road markings. You do not need to be driving to practice watching the signs. You can practice watching road signs and road markings as a passenger in a vehicle whether it be a bus or a car.
As James has already carried out a reverse exercise on the road, the driving examiner will ask James to forward park into a bay of his choice. Hello, my name is Charlie. I'm the voice behind the video. James should really have passed his driving test today. He basically failed due to lack of concentration. Make sure you are well rested and eat something light before the driving test. This will help you keep your concentration levels up. Why not improve your chances of passing the driving test with these top tips? If you enjoyed watching this video, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your driving test.